And our first stop in our globe hopping destination show is, of course, going to be Texas in the U.S. We do these stories with SolidWorks every single year because this is a company that truly does tell us what can be done between software, apps, and the hardware that comes together. Two or three stories I have to tell you. The first, of course, is a sensory glove, and this one I love. When Sanjana is out there, she's been showcasing these things in small little videos she was sending to me on WhatsApp and other areas where one of the gloves, and I want to see the whole story, is wearing a glove. And the sensory perception that you'll have is that even if the software says that now they've put an ant on your hand, you'll still be able to feel it. The mind boggles to think when they'll have a whole body suit of this, what all you can do. I think the porn industry must be absolutely and totally celebrating right now. Can you imagine the potential? Anyway, that's just me and the way my mind works. Lots more happened out there, including robotics, uh, brand new ways of using computers and cameras. Let's Howdy, Rajiv. I would tip my hat to you if I had my Texas hat on, but I am very much in Texas, in the United States. I'm in Dallas. The flag gives it away. I don't think the building really gives it away. I'm here for a very big tech conference by SolidWorks. This is SOLIDWORKS World 2019 and there's some big announcement that the SOL system in SOLIDWORKS is making here today. Now there's no one really in my frame but believe it or not there's 6,000 people present here. But let's get straight to it, put our nerd on and figure out what are these big announcements that they are bringing. So if you're an engineer, you're a designer or you have any inclination towards this kind of software, I suggest you stay put and stick on with us. Create, design, simulate, manufacture. One word for all of this would be SOLIDWORKS. Well, SOLIDWORKS World 2019 was held in Dallas and was a massive crowd puller. With over 6,300 attendees this year, we stepped inside to find out what the big announcements were and we definitely switched our nerd on for this one. The French software developer made it evident that 3D experience is more than just the software. With more than 12 brands under the umbrella servicing 11 industries, the Solve Systems reiterated its focus to 3D design and engineering and launched one complete portfolio of applications, 3dexperience.works. This has fine-tuned applications and also various use cases of companies on the platform. It is meant for small and mid-sized firms and can help improve manufacturing efficiency by streamlining all processes and allowing digital continuity. Well, SolidWorks 2019 will be uh, is a milestone. Why so? Because now it's official for every user of SOLIDWORKS in the world that the future of SOLIDWORKS is powered by a 3D experience platform. That's the message number one. There's a second reveal today, which is we are creating a view of that platform that is fitting with this, the works experience. SOLIDWORKS is loved by users because they love the experience and we want to do the same for the 3D experience that works so they can have the collaborative innovation part of the total picture. The SOL system showcased their focus to what they call the industrial renaissance. The 3D experience marketplace or the Amazon for design engineering and manufacturing which was only launched last year already has around 600 suppliers on the platform. And as 3D design remains at the heart of what they do, they even showcase building Jaipur as a smart 3D city experience. Okay, now we've seen great announcements, big updates in the software, but along with software, hardware is really important, right? Now, I'm not talking about regular virtual reality or anything. Yes, you can see this in my hands, and now seeing is not really believing, feeling is. So, Haptex is a company that's actually adding haptic touch to virtual reality, another dimension. So let's get straight into this device. Yes, this one is Rajiv's favorite. This cell. This is Haptex that plans to bring another dimension to virtual reality, which is touch. The gloves are like an exoskeleton that have to be put on. And it's not a fit for all size. They measure your hand before slipping it on and making it fit. The best part about these gloves is the pressure sensitivity that it comes with. So an object placed on your hands through the 3D CAD software will be felt almost realistically through the gloves. An insect was placed on my hand and the sensation was nothing less than a lifelike creepy crawly walking around my palm. 
The gloves have 130 points of feedback dispersed on the surface for feedback. And it even comes with motion tracking technology and was pretty precise when we tried it to swap some UFOs down in the demo scenario. The mind boggles to think about applications of this in gaming and many other industries. But for now, it makes for a great companion in designing and simulating things, especially using the SOLIDWORKS platform. But Haptex was not alone with the path-breaking technology at SOLIDWORKS World 2019. There was more eye candy for artists and designers. The new Microsoft Surface Studio 2 was showcased as well. The monitor can be angled and adjusted like this and can be put down almost flat. The Surface Studio 2 is out and out a designer's delight and comes with one or two TB of inbuilt storage and a brilliant 28-inch pixel sense display with a 10-point multi-touch screen. But one of the biggest highlights on the Surface Studio 2 is the 7th generation Intel Core i7 processor through the looking glass and this is exactly what it would look like. This is a holographic display meant specifically for 3D creators. Everything on this display is quite real and involves no special effects. You put your hand in front and the sensor recognizes it and one can then interact with their product design. Another handy piece of hardware for SOLIDWORKS users but this one is straight out of Harry Potter. There was a lot of fun at the Partner Pavilion at SOLIDWORKS World 2019 which included this educational robot company Rev. They showcased their robots that could pick up and drop boxes and are primarily meant for robot competitions in schools and colleges. They sell these do-it-yourself robot kits for this. One of the most interesting